All right, so this is it came from the night of spare episode two, episode one of Adventure Time. Season two, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, that's season, right. Season yeah, two. season two, man. We're finally the season two. So happy, and that's the non Marceline episode. And it begins with Finn and Finn and Marceline just playing music, and um, Marceline is singing about her dad eating her fries, and then Finn felt bad, so he purposely summons the father Marceline, and Marceline's father um, took Marceline's axe and go on this spree uh, on this spree to suck all the souls of Ooh. So it's up to Marceline and Finn to go find the father, get the axe back, and 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 free all the souls. And place them back to the to the normal bodies, and um, and, and all throughout the episode, he sucked he sucked he sucked up all the souls of U. Well, all oh, it's not completely, and he got bigger. So, so Marceline tried to try to get trying to get her. Um, I don't know Finn went to get Mar Mar Marceline's axe back, trying to get those trying to get the the souls from U. And then she got her axe. She felt very happy, and they got to the, they got in an argument. So, um. Fan created a diversion by playing the song that they recorded, and then Marceline's dad felt like, you know, t told her to, that he was sorry about eating her fries, and he loves her no matter what, and then, while he's distracted, Finn just stabs the father, and, and, and put him back to the night, the night of the spear, and so he's back, and then they were, and then they were both exhausted, and she asked, which I really like, she asked Finn what's with the pocket, and he's like, oh, Jake's in there. What's up, Jake? And he just farts. <laughs> like that. that. That's the end of the episode. And I love this episode. I love this episode a lot. Actually, uh, my mom saw this episode with me one, one, one time. And um, I love the episode. I just, I love, I love the relationship with um, Finn and, no, not Finn and, not Finn and Marceline. Um, Marceline and, and her father. I love the relationship between, between these two. And you you really feel like that they've been through a lot a lot together, and then, and I really like how they show that every parent are not perfect. There's no such thing as a perfect parent. There's no such thing as a perfect child because every parent has a flaw. They'll have problems, and you know whatever. But even though even though your parent decided decided to you that really actually scars you or whatever, but. In the end, they still love you no matter no 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 matter what. And this was a good demo a good demonstration, and uh, I just like how how excuse me that I just like how um how um, the father talks to Gunter and Gunter slaps him and kicks things like fly like Gunter who t who told you you could fly? <laughs> I love that. That was funny, and um. I just like the episode. The episode is, re is really funny. So um, I got that's what I say about it. But how about you? Hmm. Positive messages. Um, making your parents, son and parent and kid relationship stronger, pretty much. It's a really good episode. I suggest kids should watch this with their parents. It's pretty good. They they will love it. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't even should because it it reminds me a lot of like I I know a lot of TV shows and and um and movies have have that kind of relationship like like say like the mother or the son or whatever like whatever kind of relationship they don't get along at first because they've been through a lot of stuff but it, but you know what it actually reminds me a lot of of Home Alone when when I think about it no because no 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 think about this because um um the the kid Kevin. And his mom, they don't get along. They don't. They don't lie because you know Kevin's is always, is always like you know as a little kid, like a spoiled little brat, whatever. When he gets in trouble, and uh, and then suddenly um, they got into a little fight because he always gets in trouble, and then he's and they say he was sorry, and then she today get upstairs, and then next thing you know, throughout the entire movie, she tried to go to extreme measures to get back to see her son, and next thing you know, um, in the end, in the end of the movie. Um, they they look at each other and they didn't say nothing. And you know what happens? The 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 mother said she was sorry. Mm -hmm. And next thing you know, they 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 hugged, they kissed, and they because he knows that even it really shows that even though your you know your mom and your dad they they, they they always do things to you whatever about whatever situation, but in the end they still love you no matter what. That doesn't make your parent your parents bad or anything. They just 
You know, when you have a law, law, law and order or so, something, that's it. You got to maintain the rules that, that, that. They still love you no matter what. Even if, even though your parents can do, like, say things about you, they can criticize you in, a, in some kind of way. And, you know, and then they still love you no matter what. Mm-hmm. Even though you feel, even though you feel like they don't love you, but in reality, they still do because you're still their child, and you have, and we had to, had to acknowledge that. And that's what Marceline did. Like Marceline um, thought that that she, that her father never loved her, but in the end, uh, Marceline's father said, "Marceline, of course I love you." And you know what? He confesses. He apologized because he realized what he did was wrong. And actually, to be honest, that's kind of that's kind of rare because <laughs> somebody's right is wrong. Yeah, no, because because you know cause, you know Marceline. Uh, well, and, and, and another another episode I think called the, the Marceline's Closet. I think it was like in, I think I think it was like in the third season where Marce. Hey, hey, you're giving too much spoilers, bro. Come okay, on. okay, okay. I like too early, that, too early. But all I can say is it shows a little bit of a backstory between Marce about Marceline and her eating her it about Mar- the father eating his, her fries. So. Yeah, because when you, when, even when you do the tiny the tiniest moments things to your child and, and you talk the cake taste as a big deal, um, you just gotta apologize to your, your, your kid. You gotta say you're sorry, even though you haven't done nothing wrong. But still, you gotta say sorry to your kid because you know you know they're, they're they're human beings too. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how you do it. Everybody's not perfect. Yeah, exactly, and that's what it's all about. That's, and that's a good a good example of that. And I like how he said. I love you, Marceline. Don't, Don't you ever doubt that. Ba- doubt, doubt that. And then, I love you too, Dad. And and, and, and it's funny because I remember the first time I, when the first time I saw this episode, I thought like it's gonna end like in a happy, you know, like he's gonna be back to normal. He's gonna hug Marceline and then you know finish that. But no, if he just stabs him, like, like, I was like, I was like, dude. And I was like, what the heck? <laughs> Yo, really, that's unprofessional. And you know what I gotta say? Like I said before. Poor man, he deserves so much better. Yeah, man. I, about I know he's bad and all, but, but man, come he's on, not, he's not really that bad. He just doing I mean, his he job. He apologized. Apologized to his daughter, and the next minute, you know, he gets Finn stabs him. Yeah, because I think we just let he, him leave. And I mean. I mean, it would. I, I wouldn't. I, mean, I love. I love the. As much as I love the episode, like the ending, it could have been a little bit better. It could have been a little bit more better. I mean, the ending is good. I like the ending too because you know he feeds the souls of ooh. But it could be done another way, like a more peaceful route, like like um, like, like, like Marceline stops fit and then and then um um the father the father release all the souls of Boo, he come back to the normal mm-hmm. sides and then he say he was sorry and he said you're a good kid and you know and then he go back to the night it could have been a better ending it could have been, been, been a better ending, ending because because this is what you're gonna teach children when so basically when the, the adult apologizes to their kid so it's a good way positive to jump them with a knife basically that's what they're trying to do I, I don't know. I, I, don't know. I, I mean, much. I I don't, I don't know that this was intentional. I don't I don't know what's the real intention for it, but but I think the our way would have done would have been better. Like yeah, he releases the he turns good, releases the soul. Yeah, and then and he he yeah. just opens the portal and leaves. Yeah, he apologizes for the soul situation and he just leaves. I, I think it would have been a much better episode that way. Yeah, I, I mean a much more better ending for the episode because because the, the whole thing is good. Like the first, the, the it, beginning it and middle, the and the end, the ending was good. The climax was actually was pretty good. Like it's like like a like it's all sad, like it's all whatever. But but then again, it creates um, not it didn't create good comedy, but it also it plays with your expectations. It really Tension. does plays 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 with your expectations. Creates a lot of tension. They got tension on intensity because, because um, that, that that's pretty much like what the episode does. Like the episodes, especially all the episodes of Lunch Time, it plays for your expectations. That's what it does. It plays for your expectations. Like, you don't know what you're going to expect. You know, it really keeps you on your toe, keeps your guard up, and whatever. So much, pretty much like that. So, but it could have been a better ending. But it, it, this is what they want. This is their intention, and yeah, it's, uh, it's fine. I respect that. That's okay. So, um, I got nothing to say about it, so yeah, uh, any, any final thoughts? No, we're happy that we're in season two. Yeah, man, season, season two. two. Yeah! So, yeah, that's the, uh, that's, so that's why I to say about it. So, um, thanks, th- thanks so much for watching, and to the next time, which we'll talk about episode two. 
I'm not going to tell you the, the name well, of Well, I have no idea what episode 2 is, but... Um, but, yeah, but, uh, but it's good, it's good, because we we, we, want, we don't want to, like, spoil, spoil what the name, what's the name of it. It'll be, like, a surprise. A well, surprise. a surprise for them, but uh, it isn't a surprise for me, because I have no clue what's next. But, uh, I got nothing to say to you. I have nothing. I say it's a good episode. I loved it. I enjoyed it. It is, it's a, it is like, one of my favorite episodes. One of my favorites. And I just loved it. So, yeah. thanks so much for watching. Join us for That's episode 2 you. of season 2. So, we'll yeah. see what happens. So, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Ha ah, ah. ah, ah. Don't be stealing my, my <laughs> last. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Yeah, me. That's my so, we'll see you next time, guys. Tumba la casa, baby. Mira, ya están llamándome papi, que eso no se hace. <laughs>